and welcome a new case of probability distribution. In this case, we are going to discuss in brief the use of probability or probability distribution for business. The case is a survey conducted over the last 25 years indicated that in 10 years the winter was mild, in 8 years it was cold and in the remaining 7 years it was very cold. A company sells 1000 woolen coats in a mild year, 1300 in a cold year and 2000 in a very cold year. You are required to find yearly expected profit of the company if a woolen coat cost Rs. 173 and it is sold to stores for Rs. 248. Now the information is given for last 20, rather type of winter during the last 25 years. But the data is to be used for calculating expected number of quotes and expected profit. Ultimately we require to find expected profit. For that purpose first we have to calculate expected number of quotes and then we will multiply the expected number of quotes by the profit per quote. But when the probability distribution is there. The random variable x is always that thing for which we need to calculate the expected value. Here we need to calculate expected number of quotes. So we should take or we ought to take random variable x as number of quotes sold. But there is no direct information about the probability of number of quotes. But we can use the information about the type of winter for this purpose. A survey conducted over the last 25 years indicated that in 10 years the winter was mild. So if type of winter is taken as mild, what is the probability? It is 10 out of 25. In 8 years it was cold. So probability of cold winter is 20, uh, sorry 8 out of 25. And in remaining 7 years, it was very cold. So the probability of very cold winter is 7 by 25 or 7 out of 25. Now if a company sells 1000 woolen coats in a mild year, that means the probability of selling 1000 woolen coats is exactly equal to the probability of mild winter and that is 10 by 25. 1300 woolen quartz in a cold year. So the probability of selling 1300 woolen quartz is exactly equal to the probability of cold winter that is 8 by 25 and 2000 in a very cold year. So the probability of selling 2000 woolen quartz is exactly equal to the probability of very cold winter that is 7 by 25. Now we can calculate the expected number of quartz just by multiplying the number of quotes by the respective probabilities. 1000 into 10, 10,000 divided by 25 is 400. 1300 multiplied by 8, 10,400 divided by 25 is 416. 2000 multiplied by 7 is 14,000 divided by 25 is 560. So it comes to 1370. 6. E of x that is expected number of quotes sold. Equals to 1376. That means we can believe that on an average 1376 woolen quotes can be sold. Or the average number of woolen quotes sold per annum during the last 25 years comes to 1376. So we can expect irrespective of the type of winter that in the next year 1376 woolen coats may be sold. Now profit equals to selling price minus cost that is 200 selling price is given to be 248 minus 173. So the profit comes to rupees 75 per coat or per piece of coat. 
now we have expected number of quotes and profit per quote so the expected profit will be expected number of quotes into profit per quote and that is 1376 into rupees 75 so it comes to rupees 1 lakh 3000 400 sorry 200 it is not 400 it is 200 so the company can expect that irrespective of the type or knowing the type of winter they can sell 1376 woolen cords and they can expect a profit of rupees 1 lakh 3200 or 103200 that's it thank you very much